Yeah, guys, I was not going to do another video today, but I'm almost at level 6, and I don't know why this shows level 8, but if you look up here, uh, we are level 7, and if you look down here, we are about to get to level 6, like, we're at 98%, so we cannot not do it today. And looks like we're going to go into a 6 cube problem, rectangle into squares. Oh gosh, I suck at rectangle. I suck at shape stuff, but let's do it. Let's watch me struggle through this. Rectangle into squares. Alright, huh. Square and rectangle. Why did they switch it up? Okay, the drawing below gives an idea of how to cut a given true rectangle into squares. True rectangle means that they're that the two dimensions are different. Okay, they mean like this. Length and length and width, stuff like that. They have x and y axis. Um, let's see. Hmm. All right. Can you translate this drawing into an algorithm? I don't know. You will be given two dimensions: a length and a width. A positive integer length. A positive integer width. Okay. Uh, first of all, these names. I'm going to change it up because I'm not used to those. All right, cool. So uh, square and rectangle 5, 3 should return 3, 2, 1, 1. Um, rectangle and square square and rectangle 3, 5 should return 3, 2, 1. Oh, wait, that's the same freaking thing. Um, let's see how that happened. 5, 3. So I'm guessing length 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And... Uh, 3 was the height in this case and this proves that even if you flip it doesn't matter um, okay cool and it returned 3211 which stands for something I don't understand yet 312345 Three, two, one, one. Hmm. That has to be it. Three, two, one, one. Um, all right. <clears throat> length equals width. Note: length equals width as a starting case would be an entirely different problem, and drawing, and the drawing is planned to interpret with length does not equal width. See, uh, kata square into squares protect trees. Okay. When the initial parameters are so are so that length equal to width of the solution, length would be the most obvious, but not in the spirit of this kata. So in that case, return this return uh, object with C++. Um, in that case, return the structure of C. What the free? What are you talking about? Where does C come from? will have its size component equal to zero. See the solution and examples tab. Why would I look at the solutions already? What the freak is going on? Should return null. What? I hope I'm not the only one lost right now because I just felt like I read a bunch of gibberish. And I usually expect this note to be optional. Um, I was hoping to get everything from here. And I sort of do. I sort of do. I can see how that's the three, that's the two, that's the one. And I'm looking for squares. Um, let's see. This would like I like. I don't really like these shape questions on Code Wars because I can't show you guys like drawings, and that makes these shape questions a lot easier when you have like a pen and paper. You start drawing out stuff. Um, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything on paper because then you can't see it, and explaining it isn't the same. And so I'm gonna do play everything I'm doing is gonna be on the screen. You're gonna be seeing it. And so I already know that. Okay. We have a length and a width that is. Well, I know they refer to the square into squares, which is. 
Okay, I can't say if it's dumb or anything. I haven't seen it, but um, if it's trying to accomplish something well, like what we're trying to accomplish right now, uh, a square is a square, so maybe just return a square. I don't know. Right now, we're trying to return a square inside of a rectangle. So we're going to return all the squares. We're going to return, and I think the key is returning the biggest squares possible. And so, and so if this was like a, that's a five. If it was a two by five, we would probably return two, two, one, one. Um, we don't have that. Oh, and if it's a square, just return null. Okay. Let's start with that. If, and you know what? I'm just going to spell it out. Why? Actually, maybe not. No, I'm not. If that equals that, return undefined. Did I even pass one? Expect a null. No. Okay, cool. Dude, I passed three. Okay, I failed 47, but whatever. Um, okay. Undefined. So I think I think the first thing to do is we're gonna return an array. So how about start with that? Let results or let's call this squares. Squares equals an array. And so what we're gonna do here is we're going to we have to start comparing the length and the width. Um Okay, so what I'm thinking right now is I'm looking in terms of this this example right here, and I'm looking. Okay, we have a five by three, and so if we do, if we imagine us chopping off a three by three from here, we're left with this, all these light colors, and pretty much we're left with a two by three, two by three. Okay. Oh, you know what? Maybe this needs to be recursive. And now we're working with a two by three, and we're subtracting. Um, we're subtracting. Oh man. Okay. We're subtracting that. Oh man, so many so many thing, thoughts are running through my head right now. One, I'm all are I'm thinking about the recursion and thinking, okay, if we have a base case of one one, um, that would be like the length equals width, and here we're returning null instead of a value, which is gonna be a problem because we want if we're gonna do a recursive way, we want some uh, return not null. Uh, unless we can just say like if it was null then add one. But, and maybe we can do that, but what we're going to have to do is, yeah, what I'm thinking, okay, so we have a, we have a five by three, we're going to subtract the lesser number from the greater number, and we're going to take the lesser number, and that will be the new length or width, doesn't matter, of that subtracted um, value. So in this case, we had a 5, 3, we subtracted 3 from 5, so we have a 2. Now we're dealing with a 2, 3, which is represented right here, 2, 2, 3. And so 2, 3, we're going to do 2 minus, or 3, 3 minus a 2, so that's 1, so now we're going to deal with a 2, 1, which is right here. So we're going to minus the 1, the, the 1 from the 2, we're going to deal with a 1, 1, which is going to throw us into this if statement and give us a null instead of giving us that 1. But I guess we can... Man, no, we can't. We can't freaking do that. It's just a one. So we're gonna have to do this iteratively. Iteratively. Freaking no. And I could be totally wrong. Maybe we can work with that. But um, I don't know, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to do this iteratively. And so, what's a good statement? While 
Oh, how about while length doesn't equal the width? Because, and you might think, okay, it's never going to hit that because of this if statement. Well, it's never going to hit that initially, but eventually it will. Um, and so, if, uh, no, we're going to have to do smaller. So which, what, what is the smaller one, right? Um, length is less than the width, then, and the length is the smaller one. If not, the width is the smaller one. Okay, cool. And we're gonna have to do the same thing for bigger. Let smaller, bigger, just gonna flip that. Okay, cool, and so, uh, we're going to be adding in the smaller one to the squares. So squares dot push smaller, and we're going to do length. The length is going to equal. Um, doesn't matter. Let's make it equal to the smaller one for now, and the width is equal to bigger minus smaller and in the end we'll just do squares that push a one in there and return squares see if that works nope maybe yeah, we pass a lot of them and let's see why we're failing okay oh it's because we are Oh, I see. Okay, so let's not push in the one. Let's push in any one of those. Let's push in like... Uh... Okay, let, let's think about it. Let's not blindly guess. I know that we can just test four digits and know, and run into the right answer, but let's, let's get to it by thinking, not by just randomly testing. Um, so the reason why we're getting this these wrong is because at the every last one we are ended up we're ending with a square just not a one by one we're, we're here we're ending with a two by two and I'm just throwing in a, a one there so 14 6 6 the 2 2 is good and now I need to look at the two but I'm throwing in a one there because here the length became the same as the width and so that tells me if the length is the same as the width it doesn't matter which one I throw in there It's taking a little bit. Maybe the algorithm is bad. Oh no, no, that's not bad at all. Impressive. You, you may take your time to refactor. Impressive. You may take your time to refactor. Come your solution. Submit one ready. Great. Are they are they saying that my solution is bad or something? Not sure. Um, maybe they are. I've seen tests fail. Although it passes all these, when I try to submit it, sometimes they fail because of. Uh, pure time complexity issues. So, so let's just try submitting it. Um, maybe a quick overview of what just happened. Um, we're, we're going, we're trying to make, okay, so we're trying to find squares inside this rectangle. And because squares have the same width and length, we're only adding one digit inside. So out of this five by three, um, every time there's a digit here, that represents a three by three, a two by two, one by one, one by one. And so what happened, well, what we did was we pretty much, we took this five by three and we took the smaller one. So pretty much this length and we boom, we shot it out to be a square. And now we're working with this, this area here, which we decided was just five minus the three. So now, and we took the smaller side, okay. And so a two by three now. And so when we work with a two by three, we, the two was a smaller side. And so we, boom, we just shot that into we just shot that to become a square. And so now we're working with a, a, a two by one and we got the two by one because we were working with a three by two. We subtracted the two from the three, we got a one. Uh, the two was the smaller one of those of the three by two. So we took the two and the one and now it's a, a two by one. 
Same thing, subtract the smaller from the longer, whatever the length or width is. And we get that. We get a one by one square from that, and the remaining is a square that's one by one. In our algorithm, what happened here was we took the length. Um, if it was the same, if we started off with a square, that's cheating. Nope, we're not going to deal with that. We just return null. That's what they wanted from us. And so we have the squares array because that's what they want us to return in the end. And what happened was uh, I was thinking initially, okay, maybe we could do this recursively because we're working with the same idea um, and length and width will change, but eventually it's going to fall into like one, like a square. But if it does fall into a square, what will happen is it'll, it'll get caught in this and it will return to a square. Or it'll return null because that's what we had to do at the very beginning. And so I decided, okay, maybe not a recursive solution. We'll make it iteratively. And so while we just made sure, okay, while it wasn't a square already, because if it's a square, just return that and it will be over, even if it was like one step away. What we did was we, so while it wasn't a square, we decided which one was the smaller, uh, and which one was the smaller side, which one was the bigger side. And so uh, like we explained earlier, we take the, the, the difference and once we take the difference, it doesn't matter. Um, when well, we push it into the squares here, before the difference, because we already know, okay, that smaller side from this five by three, we're not gonna create a five by five, that's, we don't have that, but we can create a three by three. So we push the three in there, and then we just reassign these length and width values, these variables, to be some of these newer values. We know that we're now working with, uh, we're still working with the smaller side of the original, and now we have an even smaller side, which is going to be um, the difference of the previous bigger and smaller. And we don't call those bigger and smaller, we just call them the length and the width. And boom, it'll go circle around back into this while loop, and then, and then keep on going until it hits the last square. And so now, initially I thought, okay, the last square is always going to be a one by one, so I pushed a one in here. But I proved that I proved to be wrong. Um, turns out sometimes we end with a two by two, or uh, I don't know any other square um, shape. And so uh, I realized, okay, uh, by the time by the time I get kicked out of this while loop, I get kicked out because it's a square, and that means because the length is equal to the width. So I have no reason to worry about which one to put in there. And so I just put in the length and return the squares and that works. So now let's submit final and see if they'll take it. Cool, they take it. All right, and I ranked up. There you go. I'm level, level six now. Cool. That was rectangle into squares.